renewed calls for Prince Philip's royal X-Files on uh, UFOs to be released. Following the Queen's death, there have been calls for Prince Philip's UFO investigation files to be released to the public. Until 2009, the UK's Ministry of Defence, MOD, actively investigated the UFO phenomenon, but it was not just government officials who were interested in the topic. The late Prince Philip, who died in 2021, at the age of 99, held quite a fascination for the subject as well. The Duke allegedly first became interested in UFOs after his uncle, Lord Mountbatten, wrote an official report about a strange object that landed at his estate in Romsey, Hampshire, back in 1955. In it, he describes witnessing a saucer-shaped craft which hovered just above the ground before a strange man wearing overalls and a helmet descended to the ground. He was then knocked off his bike and pinned to the floor by an invisible force. The report was only made public after Mountbatten's death in 1979. To keep up to date on the subject, Prince Philip had reportedly maintained a subscription to the journal Flying Saucer Review and had even looked over military reports about the phenomenon. The books he owned about UFOs included The Halt Perspective, which deals uh, with details the, the uh, experiences of Colonel Charles Halt, who was one of the main um, witnesses during the infamous 1980 Rendlesham Forest incident, an event often described as Britain's Roswell. Philip's secretary was alleged to have even written the book, the book to the book's co-author, retired West Midlands detective John Hansen, to express the Duke's interest in reading it. He was also thought to have owned a copy of Haunted Skies, the Encyclopedia of British UFOs. Over the years, he reportedly built up quite an archive of documents, records, and investigative material pertaining to the phenomenon, yet none of this ever saw the light of day during the Queen's reign. Now, though, there have been renewed calls for Prince Philip's Royal X-Files to be released to the public so that interested parties can review everything that he had discovered. Whether the new king, that is Charles III, will ever actually consent to such a move, however, remains unclear. And this is from MSN. T.K. Randall on Unexplained Mysteries. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.